Sylvia Sayer. I'm the J.C. Sheehan Professor of Chemistry and currently the uh, head of the Department of Chemistry. I'm a physical chemist and uh, I have uh, interests in understanding the dynamics of the interactions of molecules with surfaces. And uh, what I mean by a surface is the outer layer of a material. And the material that we're interested in is uh, metal or on some occasions the material that we are interested in is uh, a semiconductor such as silicon. And so why are these surfaces uh, of interest to us? These metal surfaces in particular serve as catalysts for a uh, chemical reaction. And a catalyst is something that uh, speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction. So what that means is that you make more product of some molecule in a shorter amount of time. And that, of course, if you make more in a shorter amount of time, that is economically desirable. And catalysis is actually extremely uh, important. It contributes you know, $500 billion to uh, just the gross national product of the United States. You know, without catalysis, without having a catalyst to speed up uh, chemical reactions. Uh, we wouldn't have gasoline for our uh, internal combustion engines. Uh, we wouldn't have the hydrogen and the ammonia that is uh, necessary to make fertilizers. Uh, we wouldn't have uh, the relatively clean air uh, that we have in urban cities in the United States. One of the problems that uh, uh, we face is uh, designing catalysts to do the chem chemistry that we want to do. Um, and the, prob the, the reason why we have so many problems is because we don't understand what the fundamental principles are that uh, uh, give the chemistry that we want to see. We need those very basic fundamental research uh, ideas. Uh, we, need those, no, we need to know what those principles are in order to then design catalysts that are more effective or catalysts that carry out chemistry that we haven't seen before. But we're lacking those fundamental principles. And that is what our research group uh, tries to do, is to understand what those fundamental principles are with the idea then that once we understand them, then we can move on and then design a better catalyst.